This clip is pitched to VCE psychology students and we're going to look at basically how to write an ERA, an empirical research activity. It's worth noticing though that for tertiary students you're required to go into a lot more depth in terms of the statistical calculations and analysis. So for VCE students it's a much simpler process. So basically References and appendices aside, there are five sections, an abstract, intro, method, results, and discussion. So let's go through each section, starting with your abstract, which is a very brief summary which outlines the aims, purpose, procedures, findings, and conclusions of the research investigation. And the benefit of completing an abstract is it allows other users to very efficiently determine if a research investigation is relevant for any subsequent research. So if you Google on past psychological investigations, you'll often come across abstracts. And again, you can quickly glean this to determine if it is relevant to your research. Moving on to the intro, which has three elements. We explain the concepts we're investigating. So let's say we're looking at the effectiveness of um, antidepressants in treating symptoms of depression. You would go into a bit of detail about what we mean by depression and a bit of background on the role of antidepressants in treating that. Also some background research that's been conducted in the concepts and in being investigated and then you would that would lead into the back end of your intro which we have an aim and a research hypothesis. Your method, there's three components to a method. First of all, we need to identify our subjects in terms of the age range, the gender, um, other relevant factors. For instance, they might be VCE students or first year psych undergrads, etc. And also the number of each gender. We need to identify our materials and if appropriate, we can refer to them in appendices. And we need to go, go through the procedure in terms of a step-by-step -step analysis. And the key part here is you need to be able to prepare both your procedure and your materials in a manner that someone who wasn't present during your experiment could replicate the experiment based on those instructions that you give in the method. The results, we contain the descriptive statistics, typically this will involve measures of central, central tendency, particularly the mean. There might be some visual quantitative data, histograms, scatter plots, etc. And this is typically what you'll get in a VCAR examination. Um, in terms of the descriptive statistics, you'll get a table with two groups, one being the control, one get, being the experimental group, with, say, the mean. Uh, or maybe the difference in pre and post testing. Your discussion has three components. First of all, we'll need to perform a statistical conclusion where you're going to state whether you're supporting the hypothesis or not based on the significance of the results. And you need to include a statement about the calculated p-value. So for instance, if you had a p-value calculated at, say, 0.08, you'd say that there is an 8% chance that the observed differences in the means between the two groups is due to chance factors. Then you'll go on and identify extraneous variables. Um, for instance, you might have participant-related variables if you've used an independent group's design. You'll need to suggest, suggest how to overcome them. Sometimes you'll be required to discuss um, ethical considerations, i.e. there might have been a breach in terms of informed consent or maybe voluntary participation. You might also be required to identify and critique the research design used. So let's say, for instance, a repeated measures design was used and they didn't counterbalance, then we could have the confounding variable of an order effect. I have done some additional YouTubes on this. I know this is a bit hard to see on research designs, pointing out the limitations and advantages of each of the three. Likewise, I've done one on p-value analysis, so you can check out my YouTube channel for more on that. Hope this has been of use.